Look at this. I got headphones <laughs> on. I got a mic going. <laughs> Baby. Huh? If only people could see you now. <laughs> hey, no video. We've gone through this before. All right, no all video. right, all right. <laughs> Welcome to This Commerce Life. This is a podcast aimed at small, medium entrepreneurs focused on commerce. I'm Phil, your host, and Kenny, your co-host, will join us as well. And we're going to talk to you about the world of retail and commerce and how things are changing in the world. I took your coffee with me. It was great. I didn't get any pictures, though. Because I didn't take your... Dumbass, that was the whole point of taking the coffee. No, I know. No, it wasn't. The whole point was to drink it while I was there, which is amazing. What, is no no good coffee in Mexico? You know what's really funny? Mexico doesn't do... Okay, no. So the ground coffee there or the espresso coffee there is really good. Um, but when you go to Mexican restaurants, you either get it black or you get a milk version of a coffee. Uh, yeah, like they sort of that Asian do. thing where it's all milk creamed and sugared. and you Yeah. Think it, they, don't, they don't because they don't keep milk out, right? Because it's a yeah. hot environment. So yeah. you can't, I had to... I wound up asking for... Uh, Americano or espressos, and then and then coming back and asking for a little bit of milk on the side. I know, but um, they don't get that, which they don't understand at all, right? And so the yeah. first time I went, you know, and like I'm not Spanish, right? I, I speak Italian, so I was like, you know, espresso, and then I came back and I said, you know, poco leche, which is a poco little, leche, you know, poco leche, right? and they yeah. come back with poco a leche, and they see this thing, right? And I'm like, and they want they want my coffee, and I'm like, no, no, I don't oh. want to give you my cup, yeah. I just can you give me or pour me a little or, you know, so, you know, so I want to drink it black, right? Like Kathy doesn't drink it that way. So she kept asking for, you know, an espresso con leche, you know, so an espresso with milk and she would get this like milky soup substance, right? Like well, Amelia does that. Cause she likes a little yeah. milk. A little yeah. I, said, I said, stop ordering that. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Order a coffee. A yeah. Plain coffee. Yeah. And then see if you can get lucky. Yeah. 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 Of milk, yeah, yeah, but remember, they're gonna look at you thinking, What, yeah, are you crazy? Right, I Africa know, won't let you give me the coffee yeah. back, I'll make yeah, it. Yeah. And, ew, no, <laughs> no, not, no, that, no, not no. that brown water, no, or I know, milk in it, not yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, yeah, I think it's Kathy for life, actually. I, I'm lucky, right? Because I can drink it black, right? So I, I like, that's it. I, I'm yeah. done, like, I'm done. I espresso or an Americano, yeah, yeah don't, don't put anything, it. like, don't drop any crappy crap in it right no so, sugar no milk yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm good to go yeah 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 man. funny man funny. to our listeners uh you know um as you gather we we missed last week because i was in mexico and i had a really crappy internet connection so we, re- we, we, re- we recorded it we wished you a merry christmas but you didn't hear it and uh you could barely hear my version of it kenny was very clear but i wasn't at all so um uh, we missed you guys last week, but uh, Merry Christmas um, and uh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, because this is going to launch on uh, New Year's Day. Yeah, so Happy right, New Year so. to to you guys, and uh, we wish you um, a very prosperous 2019. It's going to be a good year. Um, yeah, and then if you have any big successes from 2018, we'd love to hear it. Um, that would be a neat one to share on air. So if you have anything, um, definitely share it with us. Or if you want any help for 2019, yes. let us know. Yes. We'll talk yes. about it on, we'll yeah. talk about it on the podcast, maybe, yeah. uh, walk through it and maybe there'll be people out there listening that can uh, chime in and help out. Yeah. yeah the city yeah. itself is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. The city's amazing. I mean, it's, uh, I don't know, like, it's like, it's like the population of Canada in the, in like something like, 20 25 square kilometers right so yeah, it's uh it's it's just it's super dense it's super packed it's uh man it's so many people the traffic is unbelievable um but uh it's an amazing city yeah that's awesome you got acclimatized yeah. at the end because you're pretty high yeah. up there yeah the altitude's crazy eh? like the first day or two you feel it in your chest and then the pollution that comes with it you feel it in your chest and your your sinuses uh, but after a couple of days, I got pretty used to it. I guess you get used to it, right? Because they got to be, what, yeah. 7,000 feet? they got to be a mile and a half, I think, more or yeah, less. Yeah, or yeah. yeah. So like 2,200 meters, which is something like 7,000 miles or something. Like that. Or 7,000 feet, sorry. 7,000 yeah, miles. And, and then with the pollution, it probably just sits. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's kind of – I didn't – you know um, – my brother-in-law loves to play basketball. And so I didn't feel it the third day and we decided to go play basketball and that was such a bad idea. Yeah. Um, I, I'm pretty in shape, but, uh, that was like, Oh my God. Like I just, um, you know, played half a game and I was like, look, 
I I'm done. Like I keep going. I could, you know, I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack. Right. Cause yeah, it's cough it's, up a lung. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. So that's okay, man. Now you're back and uh, raring to go. Back. I'm back. I know. I'm I'm all charged up and uh, you know got some stuff done while I was gone, but uh, back and raring to go and and uh, yeah, yeah. I saw some really neat. Um, I was down there. Uh, you know, North America talks about like department stores going away, but like Mexico has something like three major um, department stores that are just like killing it just killing it um which is amazing are they killing it throughout mexico or is it yeah just in mexico i think it's i mean i think it's a population thing too i mean at, a, at like 130 million people or whatever it is you know they can they can afford to do it um there's one called liverpool that is i don't know it's ranked something like 15th or 20th in the world in terms of department stores but it uh reminds me of the eaton's Uh, yeah yeah similar story you know the whole bit and then uh, when you go in there uh i was in the one uh in a mall called santa fe um and santa fe is unreal santa fe uh shopping mall which is just outside of mexico city proper has something like eight floors in it like the whole mall so it was kind of like um west edmonton mall or eaton center on steroids um, so at a, uh, an ice rink, bowling alley, theater at one end, um, literally seven floors. And, um, and uh, this department store was Liverpool was eight floors. Um, so it reminded me, you know, like at the bottom floor, they had ATVs, they had motorcycles on sale. They had uh, like so literally kind of the Harrods or old school Macy. Yeah. Kind of deal or whatever yeah. You want to call it. yeah. 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 What do you yeah. think it is though? Like I wonder if it's down there. I mean, because you got to remember, like, it's hard, it's hard socioeconomically, like, we live in a really rich country. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Canada, especially. And I wonder sometimes if um, we don't need it, we don't need to hang out at a mall. We don't need, we don't need that to, it's not a, like, I just sometimes wonder in these countries that are, you know, that have, I mean, it's not that Mexico's poor, but it's not as, it's not as well off as we are, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you start to wonder if that's maybe where people sort of hang, where the way we used to all hang out in malls. 30 years ago i think it's i think it's climate too right it's climate too. i mean uh, we were down there in the winter so it was like 20 degrees out that's cold for them right so they don't want to be outside yeah and then um in the winter when it's kind of like 35 degrees out they don't want to be outside either right so i think a mall works in that climate you know what i I mean like for us it doesn't work it would work work in montreal then too i mean that's Mm -hmm. why they had the undergrounds right yeah 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 yeah. i just still wonder like is it just like i wonder what killed the mall in north america I think it's, I also think it's population density. Like I, I, think, I guess it has to be, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at 125 million people, you know, there's no disrespect, right? I think uh, Mexicans do a really good job of retailing, but if you were a bad retailer, you could probably still make it. You right? still, well, it's no different, but I think when I go to China, yeah, like malls are, 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 yeah. or mall like things like in the subways, you know, they'll have those yeah. uh, downtown downstairs malls and they're yeah. just a shit show. There are people everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. yeah everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And it's something to hear that I don't think we would, we would think, no, nah, I'm not no. doing this. No. Uh, well, I mean, in yeah. China, you can afford that, right? So in China, there's so many people that come through get your store. Population again, right? Yeah. They literally go, listen, like, you don't want to just get out, right? Like, just yeah. get out, right? Because there's, there's like 10 people behind you and you're holding me up now. <laughs> well, I guess Mexico's right? the same. If you got 37 yeah, yeah. to 40 million people, yeah, wherever yeah. they sit today. Yeah. You know, really? That, Who the hell Mexico cares? City, really? Mexico. Oh, Mexico. Yeah. 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 Who the hell cares? Right. Like get out. Right. (laughs) Whereas whereas, you're right. You're literally like, please stay in my store. Right. Like you might be the only person I saw today (laughs) because nobody else showed up. Yeah. You know what? It's it's sort of sad to say, but yeah, yeah, you're right. It's like, yeah. I I sometimes wonder though, like, I mean, it's something like even it just, it, but everything's different when you leave, when you leave here, like, Mm -hmm. You know what we've talked about, like the old, old Queen West, yeah. when it used to be really fun to shop, and now it's not, it's just, it's not what it was, right? Yeah. But whether, we, maybe we've just, maybe all the cool places we've just overdeveloped into, well, I don't know, whatever we did, developed them into, yeah. like, we've yeah. lost the, 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 the neighborhood fun yeah. or feel. Like, there's still yeah. spots in Toronto, there's still spots yeah. in Vancouver. Yeah. But 
but they're well they're definitely different spots now like you go to leslieville okay. or yeah um but yeah, even that's been gentrified I mean. at, yeah, uh, yeah. at a ridiculously rapid rate yeah i got a friend who lives down there yeah right and uh it's changed it's changed a lot yeah right yeah for sure for sure yeah yeah that's anyway crazy, super, yeah, so cool. You super cool retail thing you did your you took your notes Kathy yeah. and the kids are pissed at you for you. Okay, listen, you know, come on, Dad, let's read it. You, you know what? Actually, the funniest thing is, is my brother-in-law, right? My brother-in-law was really worried, right? Like he knows I'm a traveler, but you know, Mexico City is different. Like it is. It can be very dangerous. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's <laughs> kind of like wandering into the wrong U.S. neighborhood, except times about forty. Yeah, um, and apparently, there's not. You, you could seriously get into trouble. Like, yeah, not, yeah, yeah. Trouble, trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, um, it's funny, right? Like, so when I was down in the kind of more popular areas, you could tell the tourists right away. Like, I got all sorts of instructions for them. So they were like, listen, like, leave all your jewelry at home. Yeah. Don't, I don't wear jewelry anyway, but like, no watches, no rings. Off, like yeah, no, none of that stuff. No necklaces. Um, try and keep all the branding away. Um, and then, And then, you know, for the love of God, don't wear shorts. And I said, really? And he goes, yeah, locals don't wear shorts there. Um, so I said, all right, you know, like, so throw on a pair of jeans, right? And, um, you know, sure enough, I'm walking down tourist street and, and there are, you know, kind of groups of tourists and you can tell they're tourists, like they've got the, you know, the Osprey camera on their, on, on their neck, the GoPro, the, yeah. you know, the, the shorts on. And there's kind of this weird, almost crowd, not following them, but stalking them a little bit. Um, and some of them are just street side vendors, but you could tell that there are a handful of people that you're just like, wow, those guys mean like they're either looking for a moment to pickpocket or they're looking for a moment, you know, vulnerability, which yeah. was very, you know, uncomfortable, right? Like me looking at it going, wow, like that is crazy. And this is a good neighborhood, right? Like this is crazy. So, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. yeah, yeah, but amazing city. So, and then I wound up going to like, local bodegas and i wanted to see like um there's a really neat chain um oxxo uh down there that's like a convenience store they're a little yeah, bit like 7-eleven but they're yeah. huge right and uh so i wound up going out to check out a bunch of those and that was giving my brother-in-law heart attack right he was like really stop walking around and i was like no i i want to see right like i want to see you know i want to see what happens in these places right and he's like yeah, but I guess what he's yeah. thinking is, you know, I, I, I appreciate You're going to get mugged or, you know. You know, yeah. I don't need the Canadian embassy trying to figure out how to get yeah. the hell, you know, yeah. get pieces out of Mexico. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? yeah. It's like, I don't have that many sandwich bags to pack you up and send you home, right? So Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and then I got to go back and, you know, this, yeah. you know, the sister ain't going to be overly yeah. thrilled at this particular moment. I have my head and. Yeah, yeah. the wife ain't going to be happy. So really? Yeah, yeah. I know. But anyway, so yeah, it was, it was really fun really fun that's awesome man yeah yeah yeah. that's awesome so you, now you're back and you're uh back and back i got ready to go you know, I know. tomorrow you know wait cut wait till uh, wednesday uh i was working you know i was working there already so i was doing some stuff i owe okay. um i owe pet people an article um on pop-up shops um and how pet folks can take advantage of pop-up shops um so I owe that the beginning of the of January. So I got to do that. Um, I got to, uh, I've been working on a content PR strategy for Into Locate, which I got to keep going on, um, which I think is going to be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I got I got all these things I got to do. Like I got to get uh, I get all these guys mutlucks. I got to finish their uh, strat planning and what that looks like for them for 2019. Um, get a meeting together so we can get going. So yeah, I I got. It's okay though. We got some yeah. stuff you got to get uh, get buried, right? Yeah, but really good thinking things. You know, yeah. like sometimes you get jammed up doing doing. That's where I'm at right now. I got a few task things I have to yeah. kind of, like today. I think Amelia's got a brunch with a with a um, some girlfriends or something, which gives me like probably two three hours or, you know, yeah, the, the task that you know a job uh, a job yeah. um, what do you call it not job interview a job application i got to fill out not for me or, okay or create yeah i can't think of the word even you know, cool. that's how excited i'm about that okay okay job description post it do you know what i mean like all the fun yeah, yeah. i got like admin shit today yeah, yeah which is okay it's you know what it's actually nice it, you know it's actually too bad today's actually nice outside i'm yeah. looking at the North shore mountains there's snow nice. and it's just stunning right it's yeah like it's yesterday yeah so yeah, I, mean, no, I, got we, uh, I got shit to do but yeah. big deal 
Yeah. Yeah. No, I hear you. I hear you. What about, so what's your new year look like? Like, what do you got going on? New year's going to be pretty much, a, it's just continuation on, right? I mean, it's almost like, you know what, buddy, I, it's, it's gotten, it's, um, it's almost like the old days. It, it not, it's not back to work, work, but it's nice in the sense that it's, it's back to that, that steadiness I've got. Yeah. There's just, every day there's something to do. Like you're just, yeah. is, I still want to do what we talked about. I still want to go find another uh, one or two. Yep. And I was meeting with somebody yesterday morning. Um, I mean, I work a, I was at work. I work Thursday, and Friday. Yeah. Yesterday I had a, a meeting. So like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out hustling to see if I can, uh, yeah. Find a, find a couple, uh, a couple of new small ones. Yeah. Have yeah, some yeah. fun. Yeah. Have yeah. some fun, right? Yeah. I've got a, last week. We got yeah. into a discussion because we are, our, our podcast obviously didn't record well for Mexico City. Yeah. 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 So now we're doing the Thursday night podcast yeah. Sunday morning. Yeah. <laughs> Still for a Tuesday morning release. Still for Tuesday Day. morning. Yeah. Definitively you and I. Yeah. Uh, listening to the podcast. Yeah. But no, we were talking about, um, um, we, we got into the spend thing. Like where do you spend the money? Yeah. You know, and I was, I, and I haven't sort of dropped it from the other day. It's, it's whether, you know, is it trade or consumer? And you know, the person I'm dealing with is a very bright, um, CMO and you know, she's totally, wanting to spend as much as humanly possible on consumer yeah. and really almost exit trade tomorrow. Yeah. But you know, we've got a, um, a, a team that can't grasp that because okay. they're so trade focused. So trade focused. Yeah. Right. And, and the product yeah. we have is definitively could go right to consumer. We yeah. really don't need anybody in the middle. Yeah, yeah. And ideally every penny we spend really and truly, the only reason we should spend the trade is because we have to not because it necessarily makes sense. Yeah. Uh, terms of a, a marketing play it just makes sense in terms of relationship play you know and the money probably yeah. should just be dumped in there yeah just to hang on to the listings you know what i mean yeah 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 I but i was wondering i think we, we, i was i was asking you last week and we didn't really get a chance because it yeah. uh, was popping off is where do you go with that like in the sense that I, i'm kind of with her like i don't think we to be honest if we didn't spend anything in trade yeah. i really think it'd have a minimal impact, especially if we dropped it all into consumer yeah. and help push the consumer to trade if we wanted to. Yeah. Cause I don't mind them. Not, I don't mind them buying in retail. I have no issue with that. Yeah. yeah I yeah. just don't want to give the retailer the money to do the work. Cause I know it's going to happen. It's going to be a hard copy flyer. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. That, who gives a shit that spends not a good spend. Yeah. But so do you, um, do you think from a, so your consumer base, is it big enough to go, uh, like, do you think your size of volume is good enough? Like, so if you go straight direct, direct to the kid in general is good enough. Yeah. In the vitamin category. Okay. Right? That okay. category is not, um, inept. Yeah. 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 Online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. If you think about of any category, one of the, you know, not one of the few, there's many categories, but that is a category definitively that people start looking for info yeah. or ideas online. Yeah, correct. They're not yeah. going to the doctor to talk about that. They're yeah. not going to a naturopath. They might go into a health food store. They're yeah. definitely not going to mass. No, you don't go to mass to, you don't go to mass to learn anything, right? Like, no, at all. <laughs> well, you go to mass to end the transaction. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right? But you know what I'm trying yeah. to say? So what, when you look at a category like that, I think definitively, if you spent online yeah, and push them to retail or push them to an online retailer, it doesn't really matter where it goes. I mean, I have no problem because I have no issue pushing them into traditional uh, retail. None. Right. I don't want right. traditional retail to die, so it's not going to hurt my feelings, but... And then are you, is the trade you're talking about, so are you spending way over and above your bare minimums with like vendor, like with retail? I guess you had to define bare minimum, right? Yeah. See, well, to me right now, like if you're, if you're in a position, if you're a small guy and you were going in yeah. uh, to a retailer, I'd want to get my trade spend down to between two and 4% max. Right, right, right. And that's just an arbitrary, I pull a number out of my ass. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah, yeah. But I don't want to spend more than that. But you and I both came from that. What do retailers want? Probably well, between 10 and 15. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you want to spend, they double it. <laughs> or really. triple it. Yeah. Well, yeah, at bare minimum, double it, right? Absolutely. But triple it, head, don't take anything that it's sort of the bare minimum. You for. Yeah. Right? But that's 10% <laughs> yeah. spend, and then there's a the 2% yeah. terms, and then yeah. there's the scam backs, blah, 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 blah. Before yeah. you know it, you're at 16, 17%. 
But if you think about it, if you had a, a million dollar company, would you rather give that $150,000 to the retailer? Or think about if you dump that $150,000 into a program of your own in terms of, you know, an online, can you imagine what we could spend with 150 grand? Yeah. The, I mean, the only thing is just the size of price, right? So like if you lose a retailer, do you lose, how much I don't know. you lose, right? I, I guess you know it's like, I mean? it, it depends, I think on the industry. Yeah. If you're talking yeah. an industry like this, where so much could be purchased online. Yeah. Right. Or again, push them to a retailer. Or push them to retailers. Yeah, you might. You're right. You might lose. Let's say you lost the. Let's talk. Let's say. Let's say it was a law of laws. This product's not a law of laws focus, but let's say it's law of laws. So you're in the um, 500 the, the law of laws stores. You know, not the not yeah. the whole chain. Yeah. You know those 500 they dedicate to. Yeah, yeah. So you're in 500 stores of law of laws across yeah. the country, and you lose that. Well, yeah, you've lost a lot. Of, you've lost a lot of touch points. But I would assume that if you're in law of laws, you're also a massive amount of independence, etc. But well, okay, wait, wait. So let's go back. Like, I think if you go, like, let's say it's vitamins and you go drug chain. So let's say you're looking at shoppers, yeah, like shoppers, you, you, Rexall, or shoppers, yeah, shoppers, Rexall, Loblaws, Junk, and then all the other. And so there's right? ten thousand drugstores in Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, right? so, so let's say let's say London is London is about 150 stores, right? Give or take. No. Uh, 78. Okay, well, so if there's 78. Okay. Yeah. So let's say 80. And so let's say you lose. So like in that situation, I could see, right. If you, if you said, Hey, listen, like if I want to cut, if I'm, if I'm willing to risk it, I could cut 80 stores out of my distribution. Right. Like, so let's say I don't, let's say I don't pay the minimum and London says, listen, screw you. Right. Yeah. Like you're out because you haven't paid the minimum. You need to even stay in business with me. So you're out. Um, you know, if you're, now I better hope I have independence, like pharmacists yeah, yeah. or some Rexalls. Um, or your I direct like have a shoppers. Yeah, or your direct consumer program is is robust good enough. enough, right, to cover eighty stores, right? But mm -hmm. I think problem is, is if you're in a ton, like, like I don't know that a consumer program you could replace the shoppers with. Um, I don't know either right now, to be yeah. honest with you. Like, yeah. I mean, I think it's or back to category specific. Like, Well dot CA does enough business in certain categories yeah. where again, that's the, your challenge is always the same. You can't lose. It's not to lose the trade completely because yeah. you're right. Not everybody shops online. Yeah. Right. But that doesn't yeah. mean you can't, you, you know, work the independence mm -hmm. that what happens or what your challenge becomes is to work the independence in Timmins or in Barry. It's a lot of work. Trail, yeah. but it's unless you have a distributor going in. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Who's going to do it? Yeah, yeah. The ROI isn't there, right? Like it's, it's still not. cheaper to get to a shoppers and say exactly. And that's what. And I think that's what. That's what they all know still as well. Yeah. I just sort of we got into the, to the discussion, and I was kind of telling her, I said, I don't disagree with you. I think we could do a massive consumer thing, but your yeah. challenge is, is that if you're in one of these accounts or a few of these accounts, you've got points of distribution that may yeah. not be able to be replaced yet yeah. or yeah. today. So you could have a consumer in Timmins, but where are you going to send them or her? Yeah. But so there might be an interesting way out of this. I mean, it might be about, it's a little bit more work, but if you reached, you know, because shoppers, I'm not putting words in shoppers mouth. So if you work for shoppers and you listen to us, which I doubt you do, but if you do, I'm not, I'm not projecting anything. All I'm saying is I think these big guys are all trying to figure out omni-channel as well. And so, they have to. you know, well, they have to, but not all of them are do, you know what I mean? Like you, you and I both, you, we, we talk both about this all the that. time, right? Like, because it's, impo it's, it's very right? difficult to do. Yeah. I mean, how do yeah, you, yeah. you know, if you're, and I'll give, it's, it's hard to discuss. I want to pick on anybody in particular. Yeah. No, um, wait, wait. Okay, but, shoppers, because they yeah. do a relatively good job. Yeah. Shoppers doesn't have a poor website, per yeah. se. It's not the greatest, yeah, yeah. definitively. Yeah. But it's got a nice feel. And most yeah. of the stores have that nice feel. So there is sort of, yeah, I yeah, could yeah. go from this environment. If I walk in a store, it's not massively different. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The online yeah. experience is relatively pleasant. Yeah. Most of their stores, because they've renovated like crazy over the last 10 years, are relatively yeah. pleasant. Yeah. So the feel is, is, is very good. They have a lot of, um, 
locations, right? Yep. They're in a lot yeah. of small towns across the country or very close to towns. Yep. So for someone like that, maybe, maybe yeah. that is the one you play with because you yeah. can play yeah. a but, little bit more omnichannel, right? But where I'm going with it is, is there a way to blend your strategies? So to be able to, um, to take the money um, and, and say to these people, listen, like, yeah, yeah, but, but it becomes a consumer and a retailer play where you can say, listen, like, I'm not investing in a traditional flyer. Like, I only want to do... Okay, but you know as well as I yeah. do. What's that based yeah. on? Yeah, yeah. No, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. What's yeah. going on in the building? Yeah. If you had smart London, save on, shoppers, law, blah, buyer, yeah. definitive what we're talking about should be done and could be yeah. done. Yeah. So now step back and let's look at the reality of the world. And not that they're not smart, but they're getting pressure from above yeah. because what? Yeah. Flyers work. Yeah. Okay. We have no evidence of that, but we keep saying that we've been saying that for 50 years. Yeah. Right. That's fine. Sure. So now what do you do? So if they're being pressured from above to fill the flyers, fill the flyers, fill the flyers, get the co-op, get the co-op. And the argument is, well, every time we have a flyer, the sales go up and you're thinking that's great because every time you have a flyer, you also have thousands of signs in the store. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Most people have walked in your store having no idea yeah. there was a flyer on yeah, yeah, yeah. what they walked into was, Oh yeah. That's on sale. Yeah. I was buying deodorant. I was buying men, but Axe is on sale. Okay. I'm yeah. okay with that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And because it's on sale, you know what? Yeah. I was going to yeah. buy one, but I'll buy two today. Yeah. 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 I agree. So the I flyer. Agree. Yeah. The flyer was the, the reason I bought more, but it wasn't the physical flyer. No, it was, it the, was the sign. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. So if you told someone, listen, you tell your buyer, so listen, I got a hundred thousand dollars to spend with you. I don't want to buy 10 flyers at 10 grand each. I want to put all that money into an online program and I'm going to drive people to your store. Yeah. I'm going to tell people to go to, go to the shoppers and buy Phil's headphones all day, every day. And you're going to be my number one destination. Yeah. And a buyer's going to sit there and say, that's fantastic. Where's my co-op? Yeah. Yeah. Because okay. I'm not getting that spend. That's you gave great. it to Facebook or you gave it to Google or you gave it to uh, yeah. 50 different bloggers. But yeah. my friends, my bucket. It. It's not my, my bucket. Yeah, it's not exactly. my bucket. Exactly. So they'll say, we'll put it into ours. And you're thinking. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know where it goes though. Yeah, that's my problem. I don't Because internally, yeah. it's going to end up in that bargain flyer bucket and I don't want to be in that. So if you guys did have a true omni-channel program and you really focused on the online portion of that channel, yeah. I'd be more inclined. Yeah. I know the Facebook ad cost me 50 bucks. How do you, how can you want a thousand dollars from me for it? Yeah. There's no yeah. value to the pro cause that's what they're going to charge. Yeah. Right. You yeah. know that. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. You're right. So it's, it's right. hard because you know, yeah. and, 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 the, and the, the, the new age marketers that are coming up, they know the cost of media because I know it. You and I both, we can sit down. I can yeah, tell yeah. you what it costs to run yeah, an yeah. ad yeah, on yeah. Google and Facebook. Yeah. So I, I, you're telling me, well, we need $2,000 for, you know, we're going to put the web banner and a Google and you're thinking, no, what? Yeah. It's like fucking 50 bucks. <laughs> 100 bucks. Yeah. You're going, I know a guy. Don't worry about it. Well, exactly. <laughs> so, like, no, no, you know a guy. <laughs> so go back to the trade consumer thing. Yeah. I don't disagree with you, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I don't want to give it to the retailer. Yeah. But the retailer wants their co-op because it got stuck into that, the cocaine co-op game. Like once you're on the drug, you're addicted to the drug and you forget that at the end of the day, what you really want is me to drive more people to your store to buy my shit. But as a retailer, I can't quantify that quickly. But, but I can the, quantify co-op. Yeah. But the flip side is you, you really, yeah, the flip, I mean, the, the flip side is that, right? Is the flip side is, I don't know, I don't know how much you can, I don't know how much of it you can replace, don't know. you know, through a consumer program. I, I, I don't know that either. And again, you know what though? And I have no problem giving the money to, let's say the, the, to trade, but that would, would you know what if you're a vendor because you've come from the vendor side and now let's say i'm more on the vendor side yeah what's my best return i'm better off to give you a tpr and a scam back or a deal 
than anything else because I, at least if I give you a dollar and you reduce a dollar, I know exactly what happened. Yeah. And yeah. I know what happened last week and it happened this week. The problem yeah. is it's never, it's never that. It's to get that dollar reduction, I got to give you three. I just think, yeah. I mean, or I just think. it's a flyer. Yeah, I just think, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really tough, right? Like, but you think about it. When you're talking to people who, let's say, yeah. not younger than you and I, who grew up more in digital, and you're trying to explain to them, say, listen, I need the flyer. Yeah. Thinking, I don't want to pay for the flyer. Thinking, yeah. I know you don't want to pay for it. I understand yeah. you. Yeah. But that's not relevant. Yeah. Because that buyer still needs the 10 or 20 or 30 grand for the flyer. Well, and the, and what's, and the problem is, you know, you still need them, right? Like you, you, because you can't replace all that volume online, even exactly. though regardless of how good Facebook is, right. You, you can't replace all that volume, right? Like that's, no. that's why, that's why directed consumer brands all wind up going back to retailers, right? Like they all start, you know, like Harry's or Dollar Shave Club, yeah. all these guys start on their own, but they hit like a hundred million and then they got to go to retail. They got to open stores because, well, because again, there's no way to replace the rest of that volume. Well, if 90%, right? if, what's, if, 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 if what are they saying? What's the number at? Let's say, what are they anticipating 20 or 25%? Yeah. Uh, all purchases in retail by 2025 will be online. Yeah. Well, yeah. where's that 75 coming from? Yeah, yeah, it's still retail. Well, right now, I mean, well, science, we're, we're right? still we're still market. there. We're at like fifteen. I, I think, think we're at fifteen right now, or sixteen, or eighteen percent, or something like that, right? And the rest is bricks and mortar, right? And you're seeing everybody else go to bricks and mortar, right? Like even the superstars, the Warby Parkers of the world, are yeah. opening stores, right? Because they have to. So, I guess what it is is it's you know, the, the unfortunate part for small brands or brands that are, you, you're stuck. You're stuck with a model that you don't necessarily want to get out of, but you need to shake. Yeah. I can't pay ten, yeah. twenty thousand dollars for that stupid flyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't yeah. worry about your profit center. Yeah. I'm trying to figure yeah. out how we can mutually grow our business. Yeah. Right. But I'm willing to help or put money into your programs. You just gotta realistically sit back and say, guys, you know. You can't, you can't do the $10,000 ad. The ad is maybe now 2000 yeah. yeah. and I'll give you heavier discounts or scan backs, or I'll give you 2000 for the flyer. I'll give you a, a thousand bucks for your social media and yeah. let me run $500 worth of social media. Yeah. yeah. And that $3,500 spend is better for yeah. me, but you've got a $6,500 deficiency now in yeah. their bucket. Yeah. And you're not going to, they're not going to get that back in the traffic that comes to the store. That is a profit center. Mm -hmm. But, but I think also for small brands, this is that moment where, because um, retailers are the addiction for small brands, right? Like small brands, oh, you know, they, they all go, you know, the, the most brilliant thing about retail in the new age is, you know, being able to go direct to consumer and sell the stuff, right? Yeah. Um, but as soon as everybody gets the opportunity, they sign up with a retailer and that's what screws them, right? And so almost- It does, but it also brand, legitimizes them. And I think that's yeah. why you do it. If you're in shoppers, you're thinking, oh, see, yeah, I'm across the country. I, I I was on Amazon and I was across the country too. Yeah, but nobody can yeah. really see see it. I can't send my friends. You know, like you yeah. kind of when you're in the store and you're on a shelf. Yeah, it's a different feel. Yes, and I know. But yes, yeah. I know, right? And so, so that is where, as a brand, you have to you. It's important to map out where how at what point it's important to be seen on a shelf versus a digital shelf, right? Like totally. you can, you can get to the big brands that do it, the Warby Parkers, the Dollar Shave Clubs, they get to a hundred million before they really have to worry about, you know, a hundred million is kind of the magic marker point, right? Is, but they still have to worry about it. You know, yeah, yeah. But when you hit a hundred million, you go, there are no more growth opportunities online. I have to go and open a store or I have to go exactly. with a retailer, right? But most of the brands you and I talk to, you know, at eight, $9 million, well, anywhere from five to 15, you don't have to worry about going to a store yet. Right. And so right. almost like where, where, what you're talking about is I think it doesn't help you in your current situation, but I think what I'm saying to little brands is really think twice. Like <clears throat> this is when you do want people like us to be able to wander in and say, here's what it costs you to be online. Here's what it costs you to continue to find consumers on your own. And then here's what it costs you when you sign up with shoppers or London drugs or law, right? Anybody like, of size. It, anybody of size. Matter. Yeah. Any, any of the, they all take your money. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And not right. badly. All good yeah. people. 
There, nobody yeah. spelled for malintent. Yeah. Walks up, you know, one of the big, maybe the big guy. <laughs> you know, we'll talk about them. <laughs> Guys, but for the most part, them. most, yeah. Yeah, most, most want to do well for, for yeah. you yeah. and for themselves, obviously. And they have consumers that they want to yeah. please. Yeah. Right? Because that's, that's the game. Yeah. Yeah. But it's very difficult. And that's, that's where you and I do come in. Like, again, I'm not telling people not to go to retail. I've, you got to no, just yeah. understand the mechanics yeah. behind it. Yeah. Is, you know, you do a million dollars in sales. Yeah. And if you're solely in retail, you're going to be spending a hundred grand plus. Yeah. In spend, if you are a million dollar yeah. brand strictly online and you spent a hundred grand, I'd be thinking, wow, you've really, holy shit, man. Like you are spending. Yeah. 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 That's a you know, big spend in, in the yeah. retail world, buddy, you know, as well as I do a hundred grand is yeah. not a big spend. No, 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 no. You, well, you, you would spend a hundred <clears throat> grand to get listed, right? Like in Canada, in the U S you don't have listing fees, but in, in Canada, you've got listing fees. So a hundred grand gets you listed in the top. 15 retailers in Canada. That's it. Right. <laughs> that's, there's, there's oh, nothing, there's nothing else, right? Yeah, like that's, world, that's, that's, well, that's one skew. Three. That's yeah, one skew, right? right? Like, so we used to pay that. Yeah. Like, I think it's like 75 grand to get one skew listed at the top 12 to 15 retailers. That's it. Like just, yeah. Oh, uh, here's the paperwork. Here's I think it might be that it gets on shelf. <laughs> and, you know, oh yeah. I'm like, my information is dated for sure. Right. So it's probably even, Maybe it's only the top eight retailers now, but yeah, probably, you know, you know but, but at that uh, point, you know, yeah. that's a big chunk yeah, of yeah, change. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. didn't get anything yet. No, no. I, right? you, know, you got an like, item number, yeah. a shelf label. Yeah. A spot. Yeah. Not, and nothing else really. Right. Like you're, you're still, you know, distribution, you've got to figure all of that stuff out. You got to make sure it actually makes it onto the shelves. Like all of that stuff is on you, right? Like that's not even the retailer. The retailer just said, listen, I, I got you hooked up in the system. You got a number. Don't call me, right? Because you don't have any volume. I'm not interested in talking to you, right? So it's, um, you know, taking on a retailer is, is um, it's almost like taking on a, a partner in your business in a sense, if you're. Uh, I think it's you know, totally that. I think that's yeah. where you got to be a little bit more yeah. thoughtful. So, you know, and, and that's why I tell people, yeah. and there's a reason why I would push people probably away from the nationals when yeah. you start yeah. and play with the regionals. Yep. You go to a line of drugs, you can actually have a, a relationship with the yep. buyers, yep. right? Where, yeah, they've got their job and they need to, they need to do what they need to do, but they probably will work with you. If you were in Ontario and I think you hit like a long goes, yep. you know, yep. or people like that, yep. Lawton's in the, um, in yep. the Maritimes, they'll, you know, yeah. it may not be the greatest in the planet, but they'll work with you at least. And yeah, you, and you can will. learn, right? And you can yeah. kind of get a feel for yeah. And then go up into the monsters where, who, yeah. who really don't give a shit. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because they're not driven that way. Yeah. And if you do, then you wind up, you know, what, what you're trying to do now is help your partner with, okay, like how do you, how do you balance all this crap out? Right. Cause you really, you've got a partner here who's eating up a chunk of change. Um, that's driving our partners. You know, yeah. 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 That's driving kind of like, big volume quantities, but strategically isn't going to help you. Right. No. <clears throat> Which is where you're jammed up now is look, I've, I've got to keep paying this bare minimum, but now I don't have enough money to go out and do the things that actually grow my business. Exactly. So, you know, you do get jammed up. Right. So, right. But again, yeah. that's, that's when, you know, sort of what we just finished talking about is that when you, when you're running with a new product and your whole focus is yeah. getting retail distribution, yeah. In today's world, I would do you sort of what we sort of alluded to. I, yeah. I would, I would obviously grab a few retailers, especially regional. Yeah. If you can get to know a couple of regionals, yeah. nice because it's nice yeah. to have you know a couple of POs, nice to move some volume, nice yeah. to have some presence. Yeah. But I would focus a lot more on the independents. Yeah. And I would focus a lot more online, and I would yeah. start to see if I could sell online because yeah. once consumers start demanding online, bottom line, guys, eighty-five percent of consumers still like go to stores. Yeah. So they'll start asking you, yeah. Hey, I bought I it on Amazon. That's yeah. wonderful. D is it available? Yeah. Where can hey, I buy it? Local, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Yeah. And at that okay. point, you get a few people telling about the same local, blah, blah, blah. You can phone that blah, blah, blah and say, Hey, I've got, you know, six customers who really like to purchase product in your yeah. store. Yeah. This is what I'm doing. And all yeah. you may have, again, if the retailer savvy, they would say, yeah, you know what? That's, that's awesome because it's built in demand. Yeah. 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 Like it, obviously you have products and you're ready to go. Sure. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. 
Right. Area. Again, yeah. it's, it's, it, and that's what I was struggling with is that as much as I get, I, I want to get out of trade too, because I understand the expense of it, but one, I can't spend that money. I can't spend enough in consumer to make, yeah. to make up for that. Yeah. And the reality is the trade doesn't give a shit. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. Right. Hear you. Yeah. The trade wants their money. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Well, it's it fun though, right? Yeah. But, yeah. So and if, if there's a lot of small people who just listen to this and have no freaking idea what we just finished talking about, um, that's when you should reach out. Send us a quick note. Yeah. We'll, tell you, we'll walk you through because all we're trying to, all we're talking about is, is you got a product that's a cool product. Where do you go? And understanding the pitfalls of, of all of it. Yeah. That, retail is great, but retail is not cheap. There's a cost yeah. to you to play with them. Yeah. And it's not the cost you think of you guys. It's not, Oh, I'm going to go have to run ads on Facebook. No, no, you it's wish the cost you wish. Of, of actually getting it was that simple. Yeah. It's staying on the shelf. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Right? I agree. So I agree. Yeah. Anyway, that was, that was the week. It just, it hasn't left because you know, it's, it's one of those ones that is we've talked ad nauseum about, but I've tried to push more people online, but it's hard to walk away from retail mostly because I don't want to walk away from it. Yeah. But I wish yeah. I could manage the costs. Yeah. I wish we had more control of the actual costs and we don't because yeah. it's not for us to control. It's the retailer has to control yeah. it because they're getting pressure from. I guess, from them. I guess for you, it might be about just, You've definitely thought of this, but I mean, I guess it's just siphoning how much you can, right? Out of that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, like we like it's it's that fine, fine dance of like, what's the bare minimum I can yeah. give the retailer yeah. to keep them from squawking and yelling, yeah. and then dumping the rest into. And which, which retailer is it? Yeah. So let's say we yeah. were in a shoppers. I know we're not going to win that battle. Yeah, yeah. The, right? the shoppers battle, the Loblaws battle, the Walmart battle. It's You're like. Not gonna win those. It's just so it's an endless bucket, do. right? As soon yeah. as they know that you get an extra penny, they're going to take it, yeah. right? So, yeah. 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 So with those ones, what you're trying to, you know, and again, now if you're heavily weighted in those guys, mm-hmm. you're going to have to go out and probably start doing mine thing and yeah. trying to balance your world. If yeah. you're not start unweighting them. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, absolutely. You're, that's it. That's, that's your answer. Yeah. Again, it's all, it's all easy to talk about on a podcast. Yeah. But yeah, in the reality, no, you're sitting down, you're thinking, holy shit, man. I, yeah, are- I mean, that's, that's like you're talking about, you know, if you've got shoppers in your business, they're easily going to be half your, half your business. Which if you're small, like, it could even be, gotta, it could be worse. Yeah, it could, it could be, be 80. Worse. Yeah, it could be. You and I know people yeah. who are in Costco. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. 80, 90% of their business. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's hard right. to shake that, right? So it, it's not a... What we're talking about when you're unweight that, that's like, like even big companies, that takes them three, four years to figure out how to do, right? Um, yeah. You know, and so if you're a little business, that is holy crap, right? Like that's yeah. a holy crap right there, right? So, and that's why yeah. sometimes, you know, better to walk before you run. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because the pitfalls that, that come with the run can be pretty substantive yeah. and yeah, really handcuff you down, down the road. Yeah. yeah, yeah, man. Anyway, so that's that's that was the discussions uh, last. Crazy. That's crazy. That's super intense. Super, super intense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. No, that's, it was all. It's all good. It's it's fun to do because it it does. It makes you think, yeah. right? Yeah. And if you're a little bit older like us, we never had to worry about these things. Now it's kind of cool that you got a whole new uh, market yeah. and channel out there that we never had. Yeah. Oh, we were so jammed up before, right? Like you didn't really, it was all about, you know, minimizing the funnel to the retailer, but you didn't have, marketing had some other options, but they were never definitive, right? It was like, great, I want some more money to run TV. Well, what does it do for us? I don't know, I guess uh, it's on TV. Sort of, I guess, you know, something, you know, like yeah, know. You, you never really knew, right? So, um, you know, so kind of neat that, you know, we've got that option now, so. Yeah, it's actually really cool, right? It is, it's very cool. Yeah. There's so yeah. much, there's so many places out there now that you can actually do stuff. Yeah. And ideally, well, you know, but you, you, you don't have to gun the retailer. You just have to learn how to manage the retailer. Yep. And hopefully the retailer starts to evolve. Yeah. Um, evolve with you. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. I agree. I agree, man. Uh, you know, we just had this super uh, intense discussion <laughs> about investing in your future. So, um, 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now so, we gotta go so, back and figure out what the hell we're doing. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, hopefully this helps you. And and if it worries you, you, you should probably call us because. Uh, well, let us know because honestly, this yeah. the, the discussion is a is is a real discussion. I've got. Yeah. You know, like for myself, I do work with five or six vendors yeah. who are in those positions. They are not hundred million dollar vendors. Yeah, they're small, and and the percentage spend scares the shit out of them. Yeah, yeah. and that's fine. Just understand it's out there, and how do we, you know, how do we, how do we either mitigate it or 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 make it work for us? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. So, I hear you. yeah, I'll All go right. to the hood, baby. So to- happy holidays. Happy Thank you. You as well. Have a happy new year. Thank you. I will. Uh, I won't yeah. talk to you till I guess the second or the third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, twenty nineteen. Here we come, baby. Here we go, baby. Light her up. All right. That's the end of this commerce life. We'll be back soon with the next episode. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give us feedback. Tell us what you think. Subscribe. Like us. Join us. Share us. Tell your friends about us. And uh, we hope to see you next time with uh, with more commerce news.